Hello folks, welcome along to the vlog on a sunny, slightly drizzly actually, Monday. And I'm going home, I've been here all day. Dirty hands to prove it, look. And I thought, because I've done some back breaking work today, I didn't really have the time to get the camera out because I was against the clock. I thought, before I go home, let's get a uh, bit of video showing you exactly what I've done. So, this has all gone off and cured fantastically well. I'm not 100% happy of the strength of these grates. I think uh, any weight on them and they'll probably crack, so we have to be careful with the fork truck or the pallet truck. Uh, but I managed to get the end sorted out. I've just got that bin, bu -buin, bu -bu -bu, that bin in there just to uh, give me an edge to go off. So we'll pull that out tomorrow when it's gone off. Uh, I've had that out again this morning, so we've been cutting another channel. Not for drainage though, but in order to level the floor. So you may remember, or you may not, there was a big step like that, meaning that we couldn't get the pallet truck up to this area with anything like any weight on. The empty cans arrived today as well for us to put the proof of concept and the vacant gesture into tin. Uh, there's a story. Turned up, no tail lift, no fork truck. We had to lift those off the back of the lorry. So yeah, if I want to use my little pallet truck over there to move anything around, and it's nice to be able to bring pallets of empty kegs look up and down here for the cleaning area, because that's spot on for the cleaning area, but I couldn't get it up this lip. So what we've done is we've cut a channel along here, and we've taken the concrete out, just like we did over there, and then what I've done is we've backfilled it with a concrete mix and that's given us then a solid edge so we're not going down to like two inches to nothing because it would just all crack off. So this edge here is four to six inches thick concrete and then it goes up to, well you can see what it does. If you just look over there at that edge from there that's what was exposed so there's a wedge shape going into there so it's about there's a little bit of it there showing it's about two inches thick at the back and it runs down and then it drops into where we've excavated so when we put the resin flooring down in the future all of this can just be painted and it should be seamless and it should be accessible for getting the pallet truck up and down the next job is, of course, to gouge out all the old mastic from between these expansion joints, if they are indeed expansion joints, and get something in there that's going to stand the test of time, because that stuff is rubbish. Uh, so yeah, that's what we've done today. So I've just got to jump up to the other side. It still needs floating off, but looking at that, I mean, it's a pass, isn't it? It looks good, it looks nice and level, and it's just, it's got rid of that awkward section where we just didn't know what to do with. And uh, I managed to meet it up with the door nicely as well. That was, I thought, gonna be an issue, but uh, turns out it wasn't too bad at all. I just had to kind of turn the corner with it, if you know what I mean. So there we go, just a quick four minute video, folks, to tell you what we've been doing on a Monday. And then we'll be back in Tuesday, tomorrow, well, to do some more. We'll see you then. I'm going home. Cheers.